Stretch out the javelin that is in your hand toward Ai, for into your hand I will give it. So Joshua stretched out the javelin that was in his hand toward the city. The moment he stretched out his hand, the ambush rose up quickly <coughs> from its place and ran into the city and captured it. They immediately set the city on fire. When the men of Ai turned around, they saw the smoke of the city rising to the sky, and they had no strength to flee in any direction. Then the people who had been fleeing toward the wilderness turned on their pursuers. When Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had captured the city and saw the smoke of the city rising, they turned around and attacked the men of Ai. And the others came out of the city to meet them, so that, so that the men of Ai were trapped in the middle, with some Israelites on that side, on this side, and some on that side. And they struck him down until there was not one survivor or escapee remaining. But they caught the king of Ai alive and brought him before Joshua. After Israel finished killing all the inhabitants of Ai in the field, in the wilderness where they had pursued them, and every last one of them had fallen by the sword. Then all Israel returned to Ai and struck it with the sword. All those who fell that day from man to woman amounted to 12,000, all of the people of Ai. Joshua did not draw back his hand with which he had stretched out the javelin until he had devoted all the inhabitants of Ai to destruction. However, Israel, Israel took the livestock and despoiled that city for themselves, according to the orders that Jehovah has given to Joshua. Then Joshua burned Ai and reduced it to a permanent mound of ruins as it remains this day. He hung the king of Ai on the stake until, he, until the evening as the sun was about to set. Joshua gave the order to take his dead body down from the stake. Then they pitched it at the entrance of the city gate and raised up a great pile of stones over him, which is there to this day.